today I'm uh, going to show you guys how I magnetized my minis uh, and made painting handles cheaply, easily, and organically. Alright, so I was inspired by this to make this video because I watched uh, Goobertown Hobbies video on how he did this. Um, the difference being that he has a lot of woodworking tools and um, fortunately I'm the only tool in this apartment. <laughs> so I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't quite do it the same way that Goobertown did it. So I had to get a bit creative and I've come up with a, a way to magnetize painting handles and miniatures. Uh, that's cheap, easy, and organic. So, we start with the painting handle. So, that's where this comes in. Now this is a mushroom. Can't really find these in your local hobby store, but you can find them in a grocery or supermarket. So, pretty cheap and organic. And I'll show you how to make it your painting handle really easily. Turn your mushroom into a painting handle. Um, we need to buy some magnets. So I bought some some little 10 millimeter by 2 millimeter magnets, as you can see here. And uh, because the top of the mushroom is nice and soft, you don't need to drill into it or anything. You can just simply super glue the magnet to the top of the mushroom. So I'll show you how to do that now. So this is just standard super glue and just put a little drop of it on there like that. You simply put your magnet on it. Give it a bit of a blow. like that and it'll be all good. The next step is to make the rest of your painting handles because it's always good to have more than one. So the way to do that is to add a bunch of magnets on uh, top of your first painting handle and use the first painting handle as a reference. So. Um, can mark these with a pen if you want to, but I live the YOLO lifestyle, so I just freeball it and take the risk of reverse polarity in the magnets. So the way to make sure that they are all the same polarity is to have your stack of magnets on your first painting handle and just slide them off and don't flip them over. Put it straight down onto the mushroom slash painting handle. All right, so I'll show you that again. Super glue. Super glue on mushroom. Okay, mushroom is super glue. I mean painting handle. Painting handle is super glue. Slide the magnet off like so. Put it straight down there. Give it a little squish. You can tell it's a good one by how much it squishes, okay? So it's got a bit of bounce back there. That's what you want. That means it's a good one. So ignore this little tag. There's a bit of bounce back, so it's a good one. Yeah, so there you go, you have several painting handles. And the way to check that they're all uh, the same polarity, which is what you want, is if you push them against each other, there'll be a force opposing, so it'll be hard to push them together. So that is what you want. And now we'll magnetize the bases. To magnetize your miniatures, I'll demonstrate on 
rock with mouth uh, here. Not quite sure what his name is. I sp suspect it's Rocky Balboa. So, a bit of green stuff, which is actually uh, blue and yellow. As we all know from primary school, blue and yellow makes green. <laughs> It's green, that was the answer. So, just work it like you mean it harm. ready now. So, our stuff is now green, which is the optimal color. We've got our miniature. All we're going to do is now we're going to do the opposite of what we did with our um, lovely painting handles. And we're going to start by putting a very small amount super glue in here like so then a very small amount of green stuff in there now with this because we want it to go on like that so we want to use the top side into the uh, bottom of the miniature so it's the opposite direction of the mushrooms This is the top side. It just goes in there, like that. And then you press it down on the desk to make sure it's flush, so the magnet's not sticking out the bottom. Chuck a bit more super glue on it. We should have done this before I put the magnet on, but they say we're doing it live. So no backsies for us. Alright, we've got painting handles and we've got our magnetized minis. So we're nearly there. The one disadvantage of using mushrooms as painting handles is they're not ultra stable, but there is a fix for that. What we're going to do is put another magnet on the bottom of the handle and use that to prop up painting handles. First, we need to carefully trim them to flatten them out, like so. You can also just use a kitchen knife. Super glue again. Now again, this is gonna go down on the ground like that, so we wanna give it the same orientation as the bottom of the mini. So basically anything that faces up has the same orientation, which is like the top of the painting handles. Anything facing down, like the bottom of the miniatures or the bottom of the painting handles, will have the opposite orientation. So the reason we put magnet on the bottom of the painting handle it's because this, this is just a piece of plastic, it could be anything, and I've glued on magnets the same orientation as the top of the painting handle. So if I put the painting handle on it or a miniature on it, they'll both attract to it and be held on. Like So I'm not going to use that one because it's still wet. But this is a magnet, it'll stick on. Same with the painting handle, like ta-da. Got a 
another mini. So this is really handy because if you're painting on multiple miniatures, say you're doing five miniatures at once and you want to paint all the crutches, uh, give them a nice metallic color on the crutch there. So you have five of your dwarves lined up, you can pick up one at a time, paint the crutch really delicately, put them down, pick up the next guy, paint his crutch, put it down, so on and so forth. You can put the minis on it directly if you want to um, prime them. This could be a stick that you go on, take it outside, prime them, anything like that. But this is really handy because this keeps <laughs> this keeps uh, all your painting handles upright. So there's a few more cool things you can do uh, with the magnetized painting handles and miniatures. I'm going to stick with the culinary theme and you can use uh, baking trays, steel baking trays, to carry all your stuff around. So obviously they're all stuck to it. So that's super useful um, if you want to melt them down, turn them into raw plastic. Um, Something like that. It's quite handy. The other thing you can do is uh, turn all the spices that you don't like into bigger painting handles. So, for this big boy, uh, Mr. Wormy, he's too big and heavy for a single magnet. So, what I've done is I've given him you know, three magnets, um, skipped two entirely because I don't like even numbers. So, the same thing um, on the spice jar. Now I know 3 and 3 makes 6, so I haven't quite reconciled that, but I'm going to call it 3 plus 3 and not the sum of those two numbers. Now, 3 magnets is better than 1 magnet, as my grandparents always said. So when you do this, you do this, you get power of three, and it's super strong, and uh, really nifty. So that's your spices, and your baking sorted. The final thing you can do is uh, this over here, which is a Yonaxel bookshelf from Ikea. And this is actually steel as well, so you can do cool things like Stick your dwarves around on things, and uh, they can guard your house from intruders. So that is uh, another cool thing you can do with magnets. You can also stick them on your fridge if you feel like that. Um, if your children are not good enough and their paintings are shy, you can uh, use your miniatures instead to make them feel bad. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe if you liked it. If you didn't like it, then also like, comment, subscribe, bell, notification, Patreon, OnlyFans, uh, Amazon affiliates, just anything unmarked, non sequential, low denomination bills in a brown paper bag, in a mailbox, just anything helps. Uh, yeah, so thanks.